Alrighty, this is the last video I'm gonna do for today. Ripple and XRP reading documents. Check it out. Crypto assets such as Bitcoin and Ether are unsuitable as payment instruments for most DLT use cases due to their high volatility and low scalability. Consequently, there is a need for a regulatory clarity and a stable euro dominated regulatory compliant payment solution. Figure two illustrates how a bridge solution could help achieve this goal. Now, if we head over here, it uh, looks like uh, XRP is a bridging mechanism to me. XRP is a native token of the XRPL and is intended to act as a bridge between hard to match fiat currencies. Very interesting. Let's go even further. We see right here use cases for XRP, Nostra replacement, universal bridge, right? This is directly from the Financial Stability Board and goes on to say, XRP is a native asset to open source XRP Ledger. XRP, given its unique design, can serve as a near instantaneous bridge between fiat currencies. We also see right here, faster, cheaper payments. For cross-border transactions, a virtual currency could serve as a bridge between fiat currencies particularly for currencies that are not widely traded with each other. This could reduce the number of intermediaries involved in any transfer and thus affect the time, fees, and costs involved. And last but not least, this is directly from the Central Bank of Brazil, and it says, Ripple's Interledger protocol, for instance, proposes to speed settlement times by integrating the central bank's ledgers through currency exchanges i.e. connectors. Hmm, sounds like a bridge to me, right? Alrighty, this is the last video I'm going to do for today.